Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've um, uploaded. Been a bit busy uh, with work and um, sort of being on call and just other bits and pieces really. Um, so I just haven't had a chance to be honest. Um, I've done a couple of little bits on the van, uh, fit some curtains from uh, shawl vans and just some other little various bits and pieces. Um, but tonight I'm going to do my first night away in the van. Um, technically it's not actually my first night away. So uh, me and Mini Warbs, my, my little one, uh, we had a night away uh, at the weekend just gone. We went away with my friend Trudy um, and I didn't really want to record because that was my first night with little one away in the van and I just wanted it to, you know, so tonight is my first solo night away in the van. So the title might be a bit misleading, but technically it is my first solo night away in the van. Um, a little bit nervous, to be honest with you. Um, not done this before um but yeah i'm gonna drive up to um nice little place on the coast about an hour away from myself um apparently you can park there overnight for free so yeah let's take a drive up there and see what it's all about i'm gonna make a stop get some shopping um i'm gonna cook myself some tea in the ridge monkey i've got my projector screen fitted now and i've treated myself to a nebula projector so i can uh, sit there and watch a movie tonight and um yeah let's see how it all goes Okay, so here we are, all parked up. Um, pretty sure I found the spot. Like I said, there was another um, camper van parked just up from me up there. Um, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Really, really nice out here, look. So, uh, yeah, nice and quiet as well. Like I said, there's only one other van up there. There's a, there's a public car park just over there, which is right by the, um, right by the beach, right by the seafront. Um, so I might have a little walk up there at the moment. Uh, in a moment then have a look at the sea and everything um you got a few dog walkers about and everything but yeah other than that it looks um like i say look at the views it's really really nice uh, we'll get some pictures of that in a little while and post up as well so um right i'm gonna um cook myself some food because i'm absolutely starving i don't think i've eaten anything all day so um <laughs> and um make myself a nice coffee i think as well I had to get a quick um, video of the uh, the view out here. Like I say, it's beautiful. It is really, really nice. See the sun was setting just over there. Unfortunately, it's just gone behind the cloud that was um, 
that's just it behind that cloud over there but when i pulled up you could actually see it yeah it's really really beautiful isn't it really really nice right anyway let's get some food on <laughs> right okay let's get some uh let's get some food on the go so i've got the bought myself the ridge monkey xxl the bigger one um i went for the bigger one because there's I think because I'm going to come away with um, with little one quite often, you can actually make four toasties in here. I think I said in one of my previous videos you can make four toasties in there. So, um, yeah, and it fits on the hob okay. So it's just a bit more room than the smaller ones. I looked at the smaller ones, and it's about the size of one sort of slice of bread, isn't it? So, so I went for this. Um, also, also use this for fishing um, on an outside stove, so I can cook loads more in the in the um, in the bigger in the bigger one. Right, let's have a look what we've got. So we have our rolls. Some lettuce. Some spicy breaded chicken bits. Cornish cheddar, and some chunky burger sauce. <laughs> right, so I've also got some Little's Rich Hazelnut Coffee, and to go with that, I've got my modern caramel syrup. So I'll have a coffee before I settle down a bit later. So I'll put that up there. But, um, Right, I've not cooked anything like this before in the Ridge Monkey, so I'm not quite sure how that will. I suppose you just put it in and and cook it, I suppose, don't you? Um, right, let's get this. Get this stove on. I have got the side door open in case you're wondering so uh obviously let any fumes or anything out from when i'm cooking i picked up these forks from go outdoors the other day and um knife and fork set and they're totally and utterly useless look i can't even cut the plastic on the buddy <laughs> Smell spicy. See if I can cook these without burning them. Okay, off we go. I didn't end up giving myself food poisoning. Rubbish bags. This is all a bit strange to me. Like I say, this is the first time I've, uh, I've sort of stealth camped like this, really. Would you call it a stealth camp? I'm not sure. Yeah, these are the, the, the forks and things. What's that? <laughs> Here's the fork that came in um, in the in the little set I got. It'll do for now. All right, let's get a bin bag with it. Nice and warm with that oven on. I did also bring, um, I also brought a hot water bottle <laughs> uh, just in case it's cold tonight. Like I say, we did, um, I did take little one away for a night in the van. So technically, this is not my first night away in the van. Um, as I was saying earlier, I didn't really want to to record um, record that. It was about taking him away 
Um, it's the first time he's ever camped or done anything like that. So um, it was about getting him used to it, getting me used to it, obviously, because it's you know the first time I've ever really done it. Um, I said this is this is the first time solo camping. Uh, we actually went to a campsite. Um, so this is the first time I've ever sort of pulled up somewhere like this and, and camped. Um, but yeah, it seems really nice, you know. I can I can see why people why people do it. So uh, right, okay, I'm gonna get my um spicy chicken rolls sorted and um yeah, we'll catch up with you in a minute. Right, okay, I think my chicken is now done. Oh bit steamy. Let's have a little check inside, make sure that that is cooked. Yeah, I think that's done. Well, it's hot, so yeah, <laughs> I'd say that is pretty much done. I think the last thing I want to do is give myself um, nasty bad diarrhea and sickness for eating chicken that's not cooked right. Yeah, I'd say that's done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this ridge monkey pan is absolutely brilliant. Really, really good. I'm glad I got the uh, the XXL over the um, over the smaller ones. These are going to be big rolls. There's a lot of chicken here. Now my van is going to stink like a chicken, uh, a chicken burger. I don't think we'll be able to fit all of them in there. Right, let's get some chunky burger sauce. Lather that up. Can't have a dry roll. All depending on what part of the country you're from. Is it a, a burn, a burn, a ban, a bun? It's a roll, where I come from, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna enjoy these, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. I am stuffed. Um, <laughs> I've eaten my rolls. Um, I think they were cooked okay. Um, we'll find out in the morning. Um, but they were really nice. Um, I've now got the kettle on. I'm gonna do myself a nice coffee and. Um, Fill my water bottle up, ready for the uh, ready for the night. I'll get the uh, get the bed out in a little while, and um, I'll get my protector screen up, which uh, which mounts across here, and um, I'll get the nebula on there, and I can uh, sit back, relax, and um, chill out and watch a movie. Um, get everything battened up because I've still got the door open here, obviously, because I've got the kettle on. Um, yeah, <sighs> hopefully that should be done in a minute. But, um, yeah, I'm absolutely stuffed. I've eaten too much, I think. <laughs> So, I am sort of all settled. Um, I've eaten, I've got me posh coffee made, my hot water bottle is all filled up and nice and toasty. Um, and I'm just sitting and chilling out. Um, I said it's now half nine. Um, I'll get the bed out in a little while and um, set up the projector screen and um, I'll just lay in bed and watch a movie. Um, no different to a night at home by myself. Um, single life, hey? Hey. Um, yeah it's a bit um it's a little bit strange of all the noises and everything that you hear out here um it's, it's quite windy and you can i can slightly hear the sea because i think the sea is quite rough um it's, it's literally probably about 20 meters over there the sea um so yeah but i think when you're when you're kind of doing something like this i know when i've been fishing before um if i do like an overnight fish and i'm in my bivy Especially if you've got no one around or you're out on your own, you hear lots of strange noises, and um, I think your mind plays tricks on you, don't you? When you go outside, you like looking around and you think, "What was that?" Um, yeah, it's probably just a little bit of that. Like I say, it's just it's the first time I've sort of wild camped out in the van, um, but yeah, it's really nice. I'm just really chilled out and relaxed, and 
yeah, I'm just enjoying it. So, um, okay, I'm going to finish my posh coffee and um, give it a minute, and I'm going to going to get the bed out and get tucked up in bed. I think. So, so I have a big fly in my van. Where has he gone? Around here somewhere. There he is. Get out of my van, you little creep. Now, I don't know where he's come from because everything's closed up. The windows are closed. And, um, yeah, he must have been hiding in here. Great. I'm now going to have to try and get him out before um, before I go to bed because it's going to do my head in if that's flying about in here. You little shit. Get out of my van. Oh. Right, that's it. Okay, so I'm all tucked up, um, nice and snug, nice and warm. Um, I've still got my hoodie and t-shirt and everything on, but I'll change out of them in a moment. Um, it's nice and warm in here. I've got my hot water bottle under here, um, so it's quite quite nice and warm at the moment. Um, even a few cars come sort of up and down, um, which is a bit weird because I've got my curtains all closed. You can't see outside of the van, so it's a little bit it's a little bit weird. Um, I think if I'm, you know, something I'm going to have to get used to with doing this. Um, but kudos to all you guys that do it, do it a lot and do it, you know, do it sort of all the time. Um, yes, yeah, it's just a little bit strange because you can't, because you can't see out, so you don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. So, uh, I've got the uh, projector on. I'm watching uh, Rick and Morty. Um, I'll flick this around for you so you can see. But there, uh, yeah, here we go. Look, the Nebula projector with the uh, pull down projector screen. Um, these nebula projectors are absolutely amazing. Um, HD projectors, as you can see, it's just sitting, it's just sitting on there. Look, the size of it, it's a tiny, it's about the size of a Coke can, a little bit bigger than a Coke can. And, um, oh, we're going to focus. The picture it puts out is absolutely amazing, really, for what it is. Um, it's a full HD projector. Can't find a remote. So you get a remote here. Um, and the sound on it is, is really good as well. <laughs> so yeah absolutely brilliant um i'm really pleased with that um the the nebula has got a, a function on it called um keystone and um, you've got sort of automatic and manual keystone and so you can adjust the the, the picture um as it's sitting on an angle the picture is obviously the projector is sort of shining at an angle um but with the keystone and the quadrilateral keystone and you can move that to square it up to your your projector screen or whatever you're um you're facing it on so um yeah eventually i'm i was going to get a ceiling mount and, and mount it from the ceiling but i think if if i mount it sort of up here it's going to be too low um and that's absolutely fine where that's sitting at the moment my projector screen can be a bit smaller so maybe i'm going to cut that down because obviously where the unit is there it's not going to go any lower than that unless I get a, a small tripod and um, and sort of shine it down at an angle and adjust the picture to, to suit the whole screen. But no, that is, you've got the equivalent of, a, I think a 45 inch projector screen that is. So you've got the equivalent of about a 45 inch HD TV there in a van. Um, <laughs> absolutely brilliant, hey? Right, I'm going to um, sign off for the night now. I'm going to watch Rick and Morty and I'm going to get some sleep and... Uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you all in the morning. Okay, everybody, it is now um, about five in the morning. I'm awake, as my body clock always wakes me up about five. Um, I think the sun is then is now starting to come up. Um, these blackout curtains in here are absolutely amazing. Um, literally, everything is completely blacked out. It's completely dark in here. Um, if I turn the lights off. Yeah, as you can see. Um, I say the sun, the sun's only now starting to come up anyway, so it's still a bit dark out there. Um, I'm not going to get back to sleep because I never do. Um, I am going to. I've run out of water, so I can't even have a coffee. <laughs> I only brought one bottle of water with me, so um, I am going to take a drive out and I'm going to find myself a coffee shop, Costa Coffee or a Starbucks or something that probably opens around about six. I think by the time I've got everything sort of tidied up here got the um, bed away got the front cover off and everything is going to be getting on about that anyway so um yeah i had a really good night's sleep um 
watched uh, watched the uh, Rick and Morty I was watching last night. Um, just put some stuff on YouTube for a little while and, and drifted off. Um, the projector ran out of batteries and switched itself off. And yeah, I slept from about probably about half ten till about till about now. I think so. Um, yeah, really, um, really good actually. To be honest with you, for my first like proper sort of solo night away, um, wild camping. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. So um, okay, let's go get a coffee. Right, okay. It's now just after six o'clock. Um, I've decided to pack my fishing stuff in the back and um, and go fishing for the day. I've got all my stuff loaded up. Um, I bet I can't get this back on the mount now. That'll do. Um, okay, so yeah, good night last night. Um, it was nice. Um, I think, as I said, during the night, a little bit weird, a little bit strange. Uh, takes a little bit of getting used to with all your noises and, and bits and bobs like that. So, um, but some things I've taken away from last night. Um, I think I'm definitely going to get one of the um, one of the curtains that goes in between the cab and the back. Um, just simply because if you want to get away, I'm saying an emergency or I'm not sure, but <clears throat> currently I'm using one of the ones that goes over the outside of the front and that goes uh, comes inside the doors, doesn't it? And you like, wrap around the wind mirrors and um, that's all good if I'm sort of on a site or whatever. But if I'm sort of you know sort of stealth camping or or wild camping. Um, if I want to move quickly, I've got to get out of the van. Um, I've got to take all of that off. Where if I've got one of the curtains that goes across where the bulkhead would be, I can just open it up. So I'm going to look at getting one of them. Um, also, a swivel base as well, which I was going to get anyway um, for, uh, for the uh, passenger seat. Gives me an extra two seats facing into the back. Um, and it also gives you access into the front as well. Um, and also, maybe be a bit careful on what you cook in the van because this morning my van stinks um it's i don't know it smells it smells like you've been cooking something in here it smells a little bit um greasy kitchen <laughs> i only cooked a chicken uh chicken burger thing chicken sandwich thing so um i've got my little scents and spray thing in the back there so i'm sure that'll get rid of it but yeah thank you very much again guys for uh for watching um obviously hit like and subscribe and share um 250 subscribers now uh, i think i said this before i didn't expect any when i sort of started doing this so i'm humbled that i've even got 250 and um, i do really appreciate everyone that's uh, that's liked and subscribed so um you know thank you um oh, that's the paper boy delivering the papers so yeah as i said thank you very much um, i'm really humbled um like share and subscribe and um yeah, I'm hoping you're enjoying the content so far. Thank you very much. Bye.